morning folks. <clears throat> Excuse me. This morning Shay is going to be with the uh, What the Puck. And this one here is the Blue Barbershop. Triple mill Hard Puck Soap. Has a really nice scent to it. I've got it whipped up here. And the uh, Deke Steam to Go Wooden Ball. This one here is a walnut one. It's got grooves in it. And this particular brush, I don't think you can get any more. It is a Razor Rock brush. B and C. Or BC, that is. And that's black up here. And C for clear. BC. And you can kind of tell what I've got whipped up here. It's uh, got it whipped up pretty good. Definitely on the wet side. Going to be following up with a uh, wet the face. Barbershop aftershave. And I got my usuals here. The uh, album block complete with rubber band. Humphreys Witch Hazel Lilac Scent. So we got Wet the Puck and Wet the Face. I just thought it would go together. <laughs> I've already had a hot towel to the face. And get started here with what's left of my uh, clown, fruit, flu, <laughs> clown fruit. A dirty clown pre-shave. And for me, this morning, this is a Tuesday morning. I wanted to do uh, another video with uh, What the Puck. So, in other words, instead of the typical Wednesday shave, it's going to be a Tuesday shave. And my shaver is uh, going to be, it's my favorite shaver. And uh, it is a feather. Artist Club SS Camisori style with a feather blade in it. It's a super. And I think it's just about time for me to branch out and try a few other blades with that shaver. See if I'm missing anything or did I already find the uh, favorite blade with uh, the shaver? I tried the professional and it didn't seem to give me quite as uh, smooth or comfortable shave as the uh, Super does. And from what I understand, the uh, boy, I tell you what, there's not much left of this one. <laughs> The uh, super blade is made for tough beards, and it seems when I first started out with the blade, the first shave or two is a little on the edgy side. But after that, it seems to smooth out for me. Kind of typical of the DE blade. A lot of people mention that the first shave with it is a little, little, little edgy. In other words, not quite as smooth, and then it. The subsequent shaves are a lot better. Alright. It's looking pretty good. Got this pretty wet. So I'm going to try not to wear too much of it. Over here on the countertop on the side I have a cloth. I'm going to be wiping my shaving cream on as I go through my passes. One of the reasons for that is to help keep my sink water a little bit cleaner. Yep, there it went. <laughs> Smells great. Has a really nice scent to it. This is the first shave at shave you've seen me do. I usually just do a two pass shave. Two pass shave, you know, the where there's with the grain and against the grain, pretty well works works for me. Oh, 
almost one of those quiet shaves. Past three shaves, this will be the third shave. More or less, past three. Uh, have been with What the Puck. And uh, it's a very good value for the money. Get all three pucks are on sale for uh, I think right at nine dollars, eight ninety nine. So keeping that in mind, the um, the value is definitely there. If I remember right, uh, each puck is about three and a half ounces. Three and a half ounces of triple milled uh, soap. That's a, it's a pretty good buy because that soap, I'm telling you, <laughs> it'll last you a good long while. The three cents it comes in is orange lime in the barbershop. The uh, blue barbershop, if I remember right, is after Floyd Blue what they were trying to pattern the uh, scent to. I myself had don't have Floyd Blue so I'm not real sure what it smells like. But this soap smells pretty good. You can kind of see it lathers up pretty good even when you have it on the wet side. There went some more. At least it does for me. I'm not too sure how the water content, how it comes into play with this soap. Wouldn't say our water here is exactly hard, but I know it's not soft. It's, yeah, it's in that in-between stage, I guess you might say. But this here, this is my favorite shaver. I was uh, giving it some thought, something I've struggled with for a while, <clears throat> excuse me, is um, when you talk about your five uh, favorite shavers, soaps, aftershaves, brushes, some of these are a lot harder to narrow down than others. But to put this in a video, I was trying to think what would be the best way to do it. Because this bathroom is, uh, is laid out a little different than what, I'm, what I used to have. And the, uh, it's not as long as the bathroom I used to have. It's narrow. I mean, it's more of a square instead of a rectangle. So my counter space is limited. In other words, where are you going to do the video? And got to thinking maybe the best way to do this is the my top five uh, try to work them into a video shaving thought my, that might work out better for me even though for instance I as it goes for a favorite soap as opposed to a favorite soap maker is probably the direction I'll be going with And five is tough. Because when it comes to soap makers, I have, I have 
more than five <laughs> that I really do like. So I'm thinking on my soap. I guess you might say I may have a break it down into a different category because some of these I don't know these soaps I don't know if you can soaps or shaving creams whether you can some of them I don't know if you can see their artisans like for instance Palm Olive Williams And those I think I probably will just do a, uh, I don't know, I might have to give that a little bit more thought whether I'll do, I guess you might say, the mass-produced ones. Or at least what I consider to be mass-produced. Um, do a video for with those. Also depends on your definition of what is mass-produced. This was uh, brought up in a discussion in a roundabout way, in that what does a person consider an artisan nowadays? Due to the fact that even though there's a number of them that still make them in small batch, and what does a small batch, what is a small batch? What's that number? Is it a hard number or is it a uh, on a sliding scale? Because you know some of these uh, soap makers aftershave makers they're getting to be pretty good size they're not exactly small so it does make it a little interesting what would be the guide for what is considered mass produced and what's not what is that number so I think I've got it pretty well worked out in my head what I would consider mass produced I guess something that the way I kind of figure is mass produced is something like you might be able to find at your local grocery store, pharmacy, something along those lines. Because I uh, think that might be how I'll define the line. Because, uh, for instance, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. You know that Douglas and Fran, they put out quite a bit of soap. Razor Rock. Kind of understand what I'm saying. It's not the uh, easiest to define what's mass produced and what's not. Perhaps it'll be another one. Don't know if we can actually consider that an artisan as opposed to something that's mass produced. And yeah, it's definitely on the mass produce. It's definitely going to be in that group. That's one of my favorites because I really like Prasso. Awfully good stuff. Got some Humphreys here. But with most of everything I've got <laughs> in totes, <laughs> it's kind of hard to do a video with the den. And even before, I had a good part in my cabinet. And that it's just stacked on top of each other. It's just a, how I had it stacked was in a way that I knew what was where. Have to unload half of that shelf in order to get to some of the soap, but I knew where where my piles were at. I think that's something I'm going to work up, which means that doing a video uh, that's going to be you figure five artisans and five. Uh, Mass produce, that's a total of 10 right there. If I can, some of these might be really tough to narrow down when it comes to the hardware. That might be where I have the uh, sliding scale on the uh, hardware because I have, I might have like a top 10 on the hardware total because that's. Uh, I've got Shavettes, 
straight razors, single edge shavers, and DEs. And try to narrow that down to five by half, but it's not the easiest. And this um, Feather Artist Club here. This is not an exact match, but it's darn close. Um, it is the top shaver for me. I really enjoy shaving with this shaver. It is easy to find the angle for me. Um, I get pretty good shaves with this uh, shaver on a consistent basis. I mean, in other words, the blades I get always spot on. I have yet to get a dud. But this shaver here, Camisori style. I've been really thinking about getting the, the lime colored handle one also because I really like that color. This is an awesome shaver. And I also have the guard that goes right along with it so that way I don't <laughs> end up cutting myself. I had a really good shave this morning. My shave that shaves, you know, when I'm not on the video, don't last too terribly long. I can still smell the aftershave. I mean, it is right there. It smells wonderful. Had a really good shave. I'll see you again later on this week. Hope everybody's doing well and stay safe and smooth shaves to you.